Hi everybody, welcome to Call of Duty Warzone and in this video I wanted to talk about sniping. How to get better at sniping, how to snipe, perhaps which gun you may want to use. So first up, let's dive in and let's um, have a look at some potential weapons. Um, but I wanted to start by saying if you want to get better at sniping, it's all about practice. And unfortunately when you're playing Warzone Battle Royale mode, you don't get to snipe that often. I mean, if you get into the thick of it, sure, you, you can use a sniper quite a lot. However, it doesn't compare with the amount of practice that you can get in Plunder. So I definitely recommend you practice sniping in Plunder. Plus, also in Plunder, you can take in the sniper you want to, and you can level up the sniper that you want to. But really, if you want to get really good at sniping, spend that extra cash, get the full version of Modern Warfare, um, and then you can have custom games. And um, after we've talked about weapons, I'm going to go into a custom game, and I'm going to show you how I kind of practice sniping. So, let's have a look at um, maybe a sniper you can consider using. So, if you go to the sniper um, bit of the uh, of the armory, you'll see you've got the Dragonov, which is a semi-automatic sniper. Very good for multiplayer. Not so good in Warzone, though. Warzone Battle Royale. You've got the HDR and the AX-50. And for me, you really, I would say, choose between one of these, the HDR and the AX-50. Very similar weapons, and the important thing about them is they are one-shot kills to the head. Even if the guy's at full armour, you hit them in the head with one of these babies, and they will be knocked immediately if they've got a self-revive, or it's quads or squads or duos. If it's solos and haven't got a self-revive, bang! Or they're the last one in their squad and they haven't got a self-revive, that's it. They'll be dead. And that's brilliant. I'm so glad that they have this in Warzone Battle Royale and, and Plunder. Um... It is annoying when it happens to you, <laughs> but that's why you should always be moving because it's hard to get those headshots. But it means that it rewards high skill and it's so much fun. And uh, and I think it's an important part of Battle Royale because one of the big problems I think that we had with Blackouts on Black Ops 4, that Battle Royale, was the time to kill was always way too long. You, I don't think there was ever a situation where you could one-shot kill people. So the HDR is my particular favourite. Um, so if we go into the gunsmith, um, you can kind of see how I've got it, got it set up. Now, the HDR is so powerful that a lot of these things, you, you can put whatever you want on it, really. So in this particular loadout, I've gone for the monolithic suppressor because that gets rid of the sound, so it keeps you off the map. So when you're blasting away at somebody who's a mile away, it stops someone who's like 50 metres away from you going, aha, there's somebody there that's seeing you on the minimap and trundling over and, and blatting you in the back of the head. Um, it gives you better damage range as well. Um, and then I put the bipod on because, you know, why not? Um, I use the presence of mind perk, which means you can hold your breath for longer. And holding breath by clicking down on the left stick on PlayStation or um, or Xbox is, is pretty important. Uh, I go for the FTAC Stalker Scout stock because that improves the aimed at ADS and then I go for the dual power thermal scope. Now you may not have these unlocked on your HDR, don't worry about it, even if you just have the HDR with, this, with this, the, the normal scope on it, that is good enough. Always remember that with these powerful scopes, the ones that are higher than four times, you will always have a scope glint. So when you're looking at somebody with one of these, even the thermal scopes, they will see a glint. So it'd be really obvious they're being aimed at. Obviously, if you ever see that, you want to move straight away because a sniper is trying to line up a headshot. I mean, other things you may want to well do, if you want to make a real long range beast you may want to put the HDR Pro uh, barrel on to give you uh, even more bullet velocity so there'll be very little bullet drop um, even more damage range but the gun becomes very very slow to, to move around then or you might want to put a lightweight barrel on can you put a lightweight barrel on? No, I don't think you can um, but you may want to go with say the uh, light tactical suppressor um, or the tactical, the lightweight suppressor, but that gives you da reduces damage range, so you probably don't want to do that. In fact, if you put the tack laser on, that improves your aim down sight speed. So maybe I should have gone for that. So that's the kind of setup I go with them on my HDR. Uh, the re sorry, the reason why we go with the thermal is at long ranges, as long as the person you're looking at isn't using cold blooded, they'll appear like a very bright white in your black and white scope. 
Um, so it's very obvious to see. You can see them, and if you see, you can see people's feet sticking out the edges of buildings and things like that. So you can, you can kind of hit them. So that's why I go with that one. Um, and for the rest of the setup, I go with the RPG, and then cold-blooded. So uh, other people with thermal scopes can't see me. Ghost, so I stay off the radar and the um, heartbeat sensor, and amp, so I can swap my weapon better. And now. What I would do if I wanted to use this in a game, I would have probably already picked up a nice assault rifle or a submachine gun. I would then call in a supply drop or, or, or find a supply drop, um, equip this loadout and then bin the RPG and pick up a, a SMG and and an AR as well. So I'd be running the HDR with that and that way I can keep cold blooded ghost and, and amped. For, obviously amped allows you to switch between weapons much faster and then my lethals are Molotov and, and of course the heartbeat sensor. Um, so that's with the HDR. Um, uh, the AX50 you can do do the similar sorts of things. Um, gun, the guns are very similar. Um, just choose one and then level it up, and you can go on. So that's kind of that's kind of the gun we're using. Um, now, as far as practicing goes, you know, practice in plunder because when you when you do go in in plunder, you can take in the the loadout you want. And in fact, what I would probably say actually is, if you're practicing in plunder, go into the the loadout setting. Um, and instead of uh, running um, Ghost as your middle perk, run Overkill, and that will mean that you can have an AR and SMG as your as as your secondary, so that you can have both of those guns. And then in Plunder, don't worry about going around getting cash. Just go round looking for other teams to snipe at, <laughs> and just black them and practice. Um, and the critical thing here is that when you aim down sight at somebody, try and be crouched or laying down if you can. I mean, it's not critical. Um, try and be next to a wall so you can mount the gun on a wall, you know, by clicking in. And then also, then you want to hold your breath by clicking in that left stick. And your character will then hold their breath. Your scope will stop swaying slightly. And then you want to go for that headshot. Um, my advice probably would always be don't worry about bullet drop too much. If you put your crosshairs on their head, you're probably going to hit them almost from any range. Um, and even if you don't hit them in the head and there's a little bit of bullet drop, you might not kill them with the first shot, but you'll damage them an awful lot. And then you can hit them with a second shot from the HDR, or if they're at uh, closer range, swap to your, your submachine gun or your assault rifle, and then hose them down and finish them, th them that way. Try not to hard scope too much. So try not to just be looking down your sights all the time, because as I say, your enemies will see that scope glint, um, and then they'll start returning fire. If you ever see a scope glint and you're wondering why they're not shooting at you, it's because they're trying to get their crosshairs on your head to kill you in one go. One final thing when it comes to setup, actually, if you fancy it, let's see if do they have it. Consider putting a uh, non-super scope on your your sniper rifle something like a three times um or even the scout the 3.25 in fact what's the cronin the Cro cronin is 3.5 times now you're losing an awful lot of magnification but there's going to be no scope glint so that can be really good because it gives you the ability still to knock people you know to, to hit them with those headshots a little bit more difficult because people are going to be smaller but you're a lot more stealthy when you run something like that so maybe, maybe you can consider something like that so there we go so when you want to practice you know dive into um dive into plunder and go looking for people however because i've got access to the full game i'm going to show you what i do so what i do is i go down to private match we go into a local game and as you can see i've got a hdr set up here in fact what we will do is we will change this slightly We'll change that to overkill, and we'll change that to EOD, so I don't have to getting blown up. And we will change that to my MP5. Right, that'll do. Okay. And let's create a game. So what I'll do, I'll go into game setup, and sorry game mode will be free-for-all 
our map will be Euphrates Bridge because this is one of the larger maps. It also has this nice bridge in the middle that you can stand on and then shoot people at. Um, then we will do game rules. So we'll put 20 minute time limit on. Score limit we'll put up to 50. I'm not going to play for this long but I just don't want the game to end too soon. Uh, max health. Now when you're practicing Warzone, you'll see in my other videos that I recommend you put up the max health to 250 because that simulates people with, with armour. However, what that means is it doesn't simulate it completely properly because what happens is if you have it at 250 when you're trying to shoot people in the head, they actually don't die from one shot kills to the head. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave the max health at 100 um, we could set it to headshots only actually if we go to this one Let's see if we can find it uh, Gameplay here we go Let me find the right one Spawn over anim so we want maximum ammo. Sorry. I should have mentioned that already headshots only. Yeah, so let's do it So it's we can only kill people and the bots can only kill each other with the headshots. It's quite funny actually um, and then we will go down to bot setup. We'll have 11 bots and we'll have them as dummy bots. So there we go. So that's our game set up, ready to go. Um, so let's dive into a practice game and start practicing our sniping. Okay, so what I'm concentrating on doing here is trying to keep where I think the enemies are going to be in the center of my screen, even when I'm not aimed down sight. So that when I do aim down sight, the enemies are in the middle of my screen, over my reticle, and I can just take that extra half a second or so just to make sure that I'm aiming at their head before I pull the trigger. And this is really important to build in that muscle memory for Warzone Battle Royale, that you only pull the trigger when you're lined up on their head, and you don't pull it too quick. Now, as you practice this, you will get faster and faster and faster. So eventually, if you do this enough, you'll be able to quick scope you people where literally you'll be aiming down sight and shooting at the same time and taking them out. Now the other thing that I mentioned earlier as well is clicking in that left stick to hold my breath because when you hold your breath that, that just stabilizes your reticle just for that you know extra little bit that enables you to hopefully hit that headshot because again with these weapons it's all about hitting the headshot. And you can see with some of the ranges that we're engaging in here, not that one that's obviously far too close, but some of the longer range ranges very little bullet drop with the HDR at all. So as long as I'm aiming at their head, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill them. Um, and that's all you do. You just run this drill. Just keep going. You're not trying to play against fancy bots. You want the dumbest bots available. It's all about time in game. Just shooting as many bullets as you can. Just hitting those headshots, moving, hitting those headshots, moving. Getting used to that rhythm, that slowness that the snipers have. Of, getting centered, aiming down sight, clicking in that left stick, pulling the trigger, then moving on to the next target. So we'll give it a go, tell me what you think. If you found the video useful, hit like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and of course, I'll see you again soon.